Have you ever wondered how much general contractor's insurance costs in New York? Well, stay tuned, because that's what we're going to talk about today. Hey guys, what's going on? Rob here with GRBM, and today we're talking about how much general contractor's insurance costs here in New York. All right, guys, so before we get into how much it costs, let's just put this out there. If you're thinking, do I need insurance? Maybe I don't, blah, blah, blah. If you're a general contractor, you need insurance. No no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let's, let's, let's just put that as a non-negotiable. You need it, you gotta have it, let's get it done. That being said, how much is it? Well, it really varies based on one key thing, and that is, do you need action over coverage? I've done several videos, several blog posts about that, so I'm not gonna get super deep into that. For the purpose of this article, we're just gonna assume that you need it, because nine times out of 10, you absolutely need it in the state of New York. And even if you aren't being forced to, quote, need it, you should have it, because it is properly protecting your business. All right already, I get it, enough fluff. How much is it gonna cost? Well, in New York, policies are typically rated on gross sales. And so that is the gross receipts, gross income, all the money that your construction business takes in in a given year. There's two big factors that affect the pricing of that policy. So if you're gonna fall on the low end or the high end of that range, and that is how much work you're doing in New York City and your claims history. Now, if you haven't had any claims and you don't do much work in New York City, you actually could be possibly maybe a little bit lower than $15 per 1,000, but it really just depends. That's kind of a good range of high and low, so you should fall within those ranges. So what do you get for that $15 or $25 per 1,000? Well, you get a million dollar policy per occurrence, two million aggregate, and generally a deductible of around zero, but could be as high as $5,000. Really just depends on your exact type of work and whatnot. Um, if you're doing more residential, they tend to like a little more of a deductible on there, whereas if you're doing commercial work and it's large projects, the deductible really doesn't matter because if you screw something up, it's not going to be a $5,000 claim. It's going to be 100 or 500 or a million because it's a big, you know, $10 million job and, you know, one thing goes wrong and that catapults and it's, it's a disaster. So deductible, really not a big factor. I mean, the main thing is making sure you've got the right coverage for the work that you're doing and a reasonable rate per 1,000. Now, there are some times where a gross sales policy just doesn't work. For example, we have a client who turns out fully completed furnished units. And so for that situation, a lot of his costs ends up going into actual finishes like, you know, the stuff inside the units. And so for him, a gross sales policy really doesn't make sense because a lot of that is just straight materials. So he doesn't want to pay on that. So there are options. It's just something that needs to be negotiated slash explained to the insurance companies ahead of time. But that's not to say it's the only way to do it is based off of gross sales, but most common, absolutely for sure. Now, here's something else to consider. You really don't want the cheapest insurance for your general construction business. Just like you don't want the developer that you're working for to choose the cheapest GC, you want him to choose you because you provide a really quality product. The same goes for insurance. You get what you pay for. If you buy that policy that's rated at, you know, $8 or $5 or sometimes even less than that per 1,000, you're, you're getting a subpar policy. Bottom line, unless you're doing 50 or 100 million in receipts, which happens and then you get a better rate absolutely it's like going to Costco however most of you that is not the case so if you see your rate being super low there's something wrong you probably don't have action over coverage you probably have residential limitations there's a lot of limitations that an insurance company will put on your policy to get you down to that super low cost which that's not to say some people can make that super low cost policy work but if you take a low cost policy, you need to be super careful. Every job you look at, you need to take into consideration, does my insurance policy cover me for that job? Now, here's something else to consider with getting that job, not getting that job, is how much insurance is the developer, owner, homeowner, whatever you wanna call it, requiring of you. Far too often we see contractors trying to get by with just a million dollar policy. Well, here in New York, it's probably not gonna happen. 
most of the time you need at least a $5 million umbrella. And if you're getting into larger jobs, it could go even higher than that. You know, we see very often requests for 10 million, sometimes 25 million, but by and large, a $10 million umbrella will get you into just about any job you want. Another thing to consider if you're doing ground up construction is in New York City, you know, your primary policy probably isn't going to get the job done as they require a PGL-1 form. Once again, did a whole nother article video on that, but that is something to consider. That requires project specific insurance and blah, 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 whole nother thing. But that whole, thing with New York City, the PGL-1 form, sets different requirements on you than even the owner or developer does. So let's say you're using a crane, how high is the crane going, all of that factors in and could push your insurance requirements up to 75 or even $100 million in coverage. So just something to keep in mind if you're doing ground up construction in New York City. At the end of the day, the cost for general contractors insurance is not insignificant, but it is absolutely critical to have the right coverage for your business. If you're interested in getting a quote, click the link below or give us a call. Look forward to hearing from you. Guys, if you're still wondering if you need general contractors insurance, just just don't don't even. I, I at the end of the day, that's not a topic that we should still be discussing in 2017. You absolutely need general contractors insurance in the state of New York and really any state for that matter. You're responsible just because you're hiring subcontractors who are insured doesn't mean you can get away without insurance because by and large, there is going to be a subcontractor whose insurance lapses, cancels or just bottom line doesn't have good coverage. So keep that in mind. You need insurance and you need good insurance because you're the responsible party, not the subcontractor. They fly by night. We all know that.